Alright, what is going on people? It's your friendly neighborhood Strive here today. I'm gonna be playing a game of hardcore free-for-all and only use my fist and try to win this game. I know that'll be a big challenge. Obviously, core free-for-all would be nearly impossible because you have to get two hits on the enemy, so that's why I'm going to be playing hardcore free-for-all, so I have a bit higher of a chance of actually doing good in that game. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my class setup here. So here's the setup I have. I have a Semtex, two concussions to stun the enemy, so I have a chance of Sliding in and punching them, and then I have Afterburner, Six Sense, Tracker, Awareness, and Dead Silence. I definitely think Tracker will help so I can see their footsteps and kind of follow the enemy and get behind them and then get that kill. So I'm definitely excited to go ahead and hop in this challenge. So let's go into a game of hardcore free for all. Alright, here we go. I have just gotten into a game. I'm pretty sure I joined late, but I am not going to waste one beat here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this first kill. Let's try to stun this guy, and the thing I really do like about Hardcore is that you can never tell when there's a grenade under you. There was the first kill right there. So these Simtexes will definitely help, so I'm just going to try to stay in a very closed area where people will have a hard time seeing me. This is going to be my strategy throughout most of this game, and there was my second kill. I think that was on the same guy. I'm probably making him pretty mad right now, and there, he finally got some revenge on me. Watch this, guys. There we go, I don't know how that hit him there, I think it landed all the way up on that building, yeah, you can see that little blast mark up there, but somehow it killed him, so I will take that any day. Alright, so right now I am 4 and 8, the guy in first has 17 points, so he is doing quite good, he has not died yet actually, if he gets a nuclear in this game, that would be absolutely insane, it would also be even better if I was the one who stopped him from getting the nuclear with my fist, so his name is the Blastamasta. There we go, there's another kill, all I had to do was follow his footsteps, I would not have seen him otherwise, so this tracker perk is definitely a helpful perk. This guy still has not died, who is in first place, I definitely need to find him. Alright, so he is by those rocks right there, I know where he is now, and he is the only person I'm going to be going for. This is going to be my mission for the end of this game, is to get him, and never mind, he just got me with the hellstorm, so... From now on, this is a war. Me versus the Blastamasta. This guy has 27 kills and he has not died yet. I'm just going to pick up this kill right here. I did not even need to use that concussion, but I really do want to get this guy in first. I think that would be absolutely hilarious. Most likely, he is sitting in a corner right now where most people are not expecting him. So I'm going to try to find a corner that he could be in. There we go! I got the guy! He was 27 kills in and I got him with one death. I do kind of feel bad now. Oh, there we go, you guys. See, these Simtexes are definitely helping me. I thought this would be a pretty good purchase. I never really use Simtexes that much, but they're a pretty good weapon in hardcore where you cannot tell that there's a grenade right next to you. Alright, the guy in first has 29 kills. I want to try to get to 15 by the end of this game. Hopefully I can do that, and then in the next game I will go solely for my KD because I just wanted to make sure that this guy would not get a nuke while I was in the game. So now there is one more kill away that I need, and let's see if I can get it here. I also stunned myself. No, I got stunned. No, I was one kill away. The guy was right in front of me. That is pretty frustrating, but I got 14 kills with 25 deaths. The KD was a .56, which obviously is not that good, but I'm pretty happy that I got that considering I was only using my fist. But let's hop into one more game and see how I can do. Alright, so I've joined just a bit late on this first game, and I just started with the gun pointed straight at my face, and I'm not having the best start to this second game. I think there's a guy coming around here. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and throw my Simtex as well and get that kill. These are so good in Hardcore Free For All. I do not know why people don't use them more. They're probably very annoying for the people getting killed by them, but for me, it's pretty fun. This map is so chaotic and it is so difficult to even get one kill. I have not gotten a kill with my fist yet. Actually, as you guys saw, I just got one right as I said that. That was my first kill. The rest of them have been with some Simtex grenades, so... This is definitely a difficult map because everybody is flying around and you really have no chance to hide from these people at all. There we go, I had to sit in a corner for a bit to get that first kill. 
There we go. There is my sixth kill, and it's going to be a knife versus fist battle, and I just won that right there, and I am pretty happy about this. I'm starting to do a lot better on this map, and I think I can get a few kills here. There's one with the Simtex. These things are so good. I probably shouldn't have put this in my class because I am so tempted to get kills with those and not the kills with my fist, but I also want to do pretty well in this game. I'm going for my KD more than anything, so I gotta kinda play it safe. I was going too aggressive at the start, but now I've gotta tone things down and play a bit safer. Oh my gosh, that guy just hit me with this pistol. If he was in range to hit me, then that means I was in range to hit him, but I just did not pull the trigger, and I just hit him with this concussion. There we go. I thought I got the last kill there for some reason, but obviously I did not. So I have 13 kills and 22 deaths with KD of point. 5-9, which I think was just a small bit better than I did last time, KD-wise. So here's the last kill. The guy went 30-13. and 13. Nothing like the guy who almost got a nuclear in the first game, but I'm still pretty happy about how this game turned out. So thank you all for sticking around till the end of the video. This was definitely a fun challenge. I thought I would get a lot more frustrated, but I knew I was only using this, so I kind of let myself get a lot of deaths without getting that upset. And I hope you guys did enjoy watching this video. So don't forget to Drop a like and hit that subscribe button. It's Spinny Boy Strive and I want you all to strive for greatness. Peace.